Greetings tubulators and tubulons. You never would guess that Musty One is here visiting me. Here in the woods. Yep. He come by to show me what a real Volkswagen looks like. Not that. But anyway, uh, let me see if I can stand up now. Ah, <laughs> yes, he's up in the air. Okay, let's do a walk around. Oh, got a transmission ordered for that. I'm half a mind, which I'm probably one quarter of a mind actually, compared to the doctors, uh, to put a four speed in it. Wouldn't be that bad, done it before. I think I done it before. Uh, my when my got my head got mashed open, a lot of stuff is just a shadow of a memory, and until I get to doing it, uh, I don't remember. So, but learning it the second time is easy because I just snapped to it. So uh, I don't mind learning things the second time when they're that easy. The first time was not easy. Let's go in here. see what's a light in here. There's a light in here. I've got a wonderful mail call. And this was from my new buddy, my new brother. Come on. My new brother, my new buddy, Bubba C. Bubba C. Look at here. He thought enough of me to send me some plates. Bubba C. B-U-B-B-A-C. So check him out. I got an Illinoisy one. I'm getting quite a few Illinoisy ones. Yes, and other Illinoisy ones. Woohoo! So these will go up on the thing. Thank you. Thank you, Bubba C. I love you. You're wonderful. And... Uh, it's cold as a frog's belly here. Yes, you can use that. Cold as a frog's belly. Go ahead and use it when you can. I'll cram that up on there with the rest of my buddies. And I haven't got a box yet to send this to my little buddy Doug's electronic repair bench, Moslack. And... This little Crosley radio, I've been playing with it, and it's got the old scratchy stuff whenever you touch the tuning thing, it goes <laughs> So, uh, I don't know what to do with it. But it's, it's a newer model Crosley. Because Crosley himself hasn't made radio since, uh, I think, 45. This is a Crosley. This used to be a huge speaker. It says, if, I don't know if you can read it. Crosley Music Tone. Right there. That used to be all felted in a big old speaker thing. Look at me do, do the circle with you guys. Sorry. Uh, got a lot of moving to do. I sold my property on a handshake. And... In here, you've seen how my shop is at the other place? In here, in this little bitty, it's not little bitty, but all my shop stuff has got to come in here along with Harold. And uh, I don't know if there's room enough to put the Morse Miner in here or not, I hope. So this is going to be oiled up and packaged up and cleaned up and put away until I get the moving done. And by then, I'll have enough knowledge gathered and garnered from all you Volkswagen aficionados uh, to, to know what I'm doing, or to know something about what I'm doing. So, that's what that the tune of that is. Hopefully I haven't got it torn apart enough to uh, have me forget that. But. But that's just the way the world twirls here. Yeah, the arc is all starting to rain. Oh boy. 
and it's a little chilly today. Of course, I think it's gotten chilly everywhere today. So, uh, gee whiz, that's what I've been doing. And, uh, of course, I run out of computer time on my internet to watch videos, so I'm just kind of handicapped and bored because that's my main my main uh, the bit of work the world is the is my is you all yuns you teach me and uh, keep me going you uh, poke me in the ribs make me laugh you do all that stuff for me thank you very much and uh, I hope I can do a little bit more back to y'all oh my brother my my younger brother I'm the eldest he's really really fancy he gets all he's had a heck of a good jobs all of his life thank the Lord and uh, he's got his house is furnished with beautiful stuff and uh, and a shotgun or two but uh, he was there on the couch lounging probably eating you know pork chops or something and one of those big nice fancy clocks flew off the wall and whacked him in the shoulder blade and damaged his shoulder and his back and stuff and uh, I don't I've never seen this clock but he said it was pretty heavy and it whacked him one and uh, I've been making clock jokes for I think two weeks now it's pretty funny and between me and dad and my sister and you know all around him he probably wouldn't have much uh, humor about the clock jokes but anyway uh, that was pretty funny now it did if it didn't kill him you know it didn't so I'm kind of thinking it was pretty funny and stuff like that happens to me all the time but Last I heard, he swore it was a ghost that throwed it off the wall after him. So anyway, that's pretty funny. And then uh, I was talking to my dad about that, and he was telling me all the cool stuff. And uh, let me get a chair, because my get along is... I'm out of date on my get alongs. And it happens. When you, when you get my age, your get logs gets a lot shorter than your other ways. Let's see this. I'll tell you the story about my mama. We're talking about the, the clock thing. And I asked my dad about some uh, some shot shells and some some uh, rat shot and things. And he mentioned that one time when they had the horses at the house. Mama come in the house and she was all flustered and and dirty and her hair was sticking up and it had sparks coming out of her hair and her eyes and stuff. And he said that she looked him in the eye and in a real guttural tone says, uh, "Get me the rat shot." And it scared him. Of course, she's just she was under five feet tall when she was here, and my dad is six foot six. And it scared him so bad he stammered and he couldn't think for a minute. But finally he got her the shot shells that he had loaded up with just bird shot for her 44 Magnum, which is what she always carried. And she went outside and she shot the horse that they had. And uh, little did they know, the horse kicked her beforehand and it rolled her off like a ball off down the hill. And she was too close for it to get a good lick on her, but it really shoved her pretty good. And and uh, she just barrel rolled off the hill. And uh, she come back in with murder in her eyes. And she went back outside and shot that poor horse in the butt with a 44 Magnum rat shot. And the horse fell, it didn't even jump. The horse just fell over, wham, and dust blew up everywhere. And she just turned on her heel and come back in the house. Of course, when she went outside with a 44 Magnum loaded up with rat shot, everybody that was visiting and everybody that lived there in the house glued themselves to the windows 
to see what in the world's going on, and they seen the whole thing. And they said that the horses disappeared into, into a cloud of dust. And then they are all uh, dreading whenever mom come back in. So they all sat there and looked at each other with big cow eyes, wanted to know what was going to happen next. And my dad was one of them. So she came back in, unloaded the rat shot out of her 44 Magnum, put the hollow points back in it, and then put it back in her purse. And uh, after a long spell, uh, I think my dad or somebody got up and went out to check on the horse, and the horse was skinned up real good, where it went, well, that stuff went through its hip and went through its side and stuff, just kind of scuffed up the outside skin. And the horse got up and was messing around out there, but the horse never did turn its butt to the house anymore. It always watched the house pretty close. And I don't reckon it's ever kicked anything in its life since. The horse got all right. And uh, that was the horse kicking story that, that Mama went through. It was just lovely. This is why I live here and they live way up there. <laughs> but uh, it's just something that I've forgotten. Dad told me about that in a way that was so funny. And Mama's been dead and gone for two years. It'll be three years, the 4th of July. And uh, just getting a story about that from Mama that I had forgotten or if I never knew it was just really a treat for me. And I just laughed all day. And that's still pretty funny to me because I know I can just picture it in my mind. Anyway, y'all be careful and watch out for your horse's uh, rear ends and stuff. Don't get kicked. All right. Uh, I'll tell you some story about my horse days too later. Okay. Love you. Bye.